Hey guys, it's Sunny from Pursuit of Motion Physiotherapy. Uh, we're doing a Rehab Friday post on gluteus medius or abductor strength. These muscle groups are, are very large um, and very powerful and they're involved in quite a few activities that we do daily. So a lot of things that we do that uh, is a single leg balance or when you're walking, when you're on one leg, uh, when you're doing stairs, things like that. Sports is heavily involved into any kind of rapid movement or lateral movement and it provides hip stability. So it's a very important muscle group uh, that needs to be focused on in any exercise prescription program, whether you're at the gym or in physio, um, or just getting general activity done. So that's why we do it, is we improve hip stability. And we look at a lot of research articles here at Pursuit of Motion Physio, so we wanna support what we show you through research um, and clinical practice, so that way you get the best exercises, the best uh, form of treatment for your injuries or any issues that you have. So a lot of people suffer from osteoarthritis uh, or patellofemoral pain or any knee pain. So we find that a lot of hip strengthening programs do improve those conditions in terms of pain mainly and mobility. So with osteoarthritis, that's uh, degeneration of your hip joint. Uh, there's one research article that looks at pain um, and function after doing a, a gluteus medius or abductor strength program. So that shows significant reduction in pain. And it also showed that people with osteoarthritis um, had atrophy of the gluteus medius muscle. So meaning less muscle bulk. So it shows a correlation between that muscle and osteoarthritis. Uh, more research is needed to kind of give more light on that. So we can make the assumption of strengthening that muscle should improve that condition. Uh, with patellofemoral pain syndrome, a lot of uh, runners, any sport like volleyball, uh, basketball, even Olympic lifting, they, those athletes can suffer from this, this type of injury. So this also shows in a different article that there's a 43% reduction in pain with people that focus on uh, gluteus media strengthening program. So really important thing to do and we're gonna show you kind of a few ways to, to work on that muscle group. So without further ado, the first exercise, as I have a band conveniently placed around my knees, is what's called a sidestepping exercise. So what we do is, we go into about a quarter or a half squat in between, and we just do some sidestepping. Just to the side like this, a few to the left, a few to the right, and we kind of do this until we, we get burnout or fatigue, so we, until we can't maintain this posture, um, that's when you stop doing it. So you do three sets of it, you could say, until burnout. So for me, leg day was not yesterday, so I could probably keep this up for 40 minutes straight. Um, that's the first exercise that we're gonna do. All right, so the exercise number two, which should have been exercise one, but it was cooler for me to jump off that box, um, is called a clamshell. So what you do is, you lay on your side, your hips are stacked, so they're kind of pointing straight up. Your feet are together, and all you do is open up your legs, like this, without bringing your hips back. So the cheating pattern would be if I rolled backwards like this or was too far forward. So you want to keep your hips stacked, open up a little bit, and come back down. And the way you're doing it, doing it right is also feeling a little bit of a burn in that gluteus medius area, a pain in the butt. And then what you would do is, you would do this for three sets, and you can use the same principle using fatigue um, as a parameter, so doing it however many times you can without cheating. So if that's 10, do three sets of 10, if that's 12 or five, whatever works for you, and then you flip over and do it on the other side. Guys, exercise number three is uh, not as casual as what I look like right now. So what you do is, you lay on your side, um, and it's going to be a plank with hip abduction. So you bend your bottom knee a little bit and you're going to plank off your knee. So you want to keep straight, plank off your knee and then you bring your leg up just like this. The heel's leaning a little bit and your hip is straight up. And you're not going to roll back like the clamshell or you're not going to roll forward. You're going to keep it on the side until you feel pain in that gluteus medius area. Not pain, a little bit of soreness. You don't want to feel too much pain. And you do that until burnout, until you can't do it anymore. And then you switch sides. Um, and kind of continue three times on each side.